We are going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, Shauna has come back to us with an update in regards to Lily. So she has started receiving SSDI income. Uh, so we need to do an interim into HMIS. And for BSS Plus paperwork, we are going to do a change of circumstance with supporting documentation and stick that in the file. So we are going to come over here to entry exit. We're already on it. So we are going to click on interims, add interim review. We're going to select everybody like we have been. Um, the review type is an update. And we're going to say it's May 15th. I'm going to save and continue. And since this has to do with Lily, we're under uh, household members. We're going to click on Lily. And we're going to scroll down here to income. So we are going to change income source to yes from no. Um, and she's getting 750. So we're just going to add that to the total income, and that also changes their FPL to 100 to 124. So we're going to click on this little spyglass, scroll down to SSDI. So we need to um, have an end date for this because she, an end date to not receiving it, so then we can enter in a start date to when she started receiving it. So we're going to put that end date as the day before we were made aware of this. So that would be the 15th, or excuse me, the 14th. So we save that. And you can see this is entered in an end date. We're going to exit. And then we, were, we are going to go ahead and add that income. So it's 750. Source of income is SSDI. Receiving income source, yes. We've got that start date of the 15th. As of right now, there's no end date, so we are going to save. And that changed that HUD verification back to the green check mark. Um, so we're just going to click save to make sure we save all our data. So we need to also update mom's total income and the FPO. We're going to click on Shauna, and uh, this one was actually already updated, so uh, that was just a hiccup uh, data-wise, uh, so we were practicing this. So uh, originally the total included income was just $1,000, um, so now it's the $1,750 which is how it should be, and the FPL is now the 100 to 124. So we will go ahead and save and exit that, and uh, that is how you do an interim.